Hey everybody, it's Jimmy. So today I got Joe. Hey, hey. And what we're doing is we're in a house, we're doing a pre-drywall inspection. So we're doing electrical, plumbing, um, framing, everything that you want to look at before they enclose it up. Because once they enclose it up, you can't see that stuff anymore. Nope. You know, yeah. so we see if they have packs, we see if they have P, you know, this, it's really important. Don't you agree to have a pre-drywall inspection? Definitely, definitely important to have a pre-drywall inspection. So, but today what we're talking about is regular houses, regular home inspections, common things. Like everybody keeps saying, well, what's some of the common things you see? Yeah. Yes. So we're going to talk about a few common things that we kind of see regularly going into houses because we inspect everything from what? manufactured homes that are from the early 70s to multi-million dollar houses. Yes. Yeah, yeah. So we inspect everything so we see everything, but there is a common theme that we see on a lot of the houses. In the meantime, do me a favor, consider subscribing, it really helps out the channel. So Joe, what is one of the one of the common things that you see when you go into houses um definitely if it's been sitting there for a while and it doesn't have gutters usually even if they brand new built yeah uh the foundational cracks uh you know in florida unfortunately it rains <laughs> yeah it rains a lot so definitely foundational stuff um and especially if the home been sitting there for a while just minor typical things but you know always trying to direct that water that rain water away from the home is always a good idea um, and away from windows so definitely get that that uh the window mold or window everything cleaned out of that that that's yeah. a that's a com that's a common, common thing. thing in florida common thing because it rains so the other common thing that i run into all the time even on some homes that are really you know pretty good shape is the, the gutters are just clogged clogged and people think oh that's no big deal but it is a big deal because you know, yes. water backs up. Yeah, the trees can be the worst thing to your home, especially your roof. You can have a brand new roof and, you know, leaves and limbs falling down on that roof and in those gutters is gonna clog it right up. So Joe, I always told people that when there's big tree limbs and some of them, you know, I call them widow makers because they're so big that if they snap during a storm, they're gonna do damage they're to the roof. They're gonna do damage to the roof. Okay, mm -hmm. but I, you know, when you have a lot of leaves on, if you, if you have a lot of leaves on the roof or a lot of shade, it, it really kind of damages the roof. Yes, yes. I had a other day, I had a roof that was only like five years old, but uh, missing shingles because of the trees around it, uh, falling limbs, falling down on it. And, um, you know, of course, they have to get those replaced and for insurance purposes. Yeah, well, one of them that I was just doing, it was a tree limb, mm -hmm. and it's, it wasn't all over the whole roof. It was on a corner, but the limb was actually rubbing. As the wind blew, uh, yeah. it was rubbing, it was rubbing, it was rubbing. Yeah. And all the granules <laughs> were off the shingles. Yeah, yeah, definitely. And they had a leak in that spot. Oh, wow, see? See, and it builds up over time. So th those are common things I definitely see on the outside. Yeah. Um, inside, we can go for <laughs> yeah. Joe does termite inspections also. Yeah, so basically, does. whenever I go to a home that's been sitting around, whether it's block or wood, but especially if it's a wood frame house, I always recommend a termite inspection because I always find rot. And one of the places I always find rot is in the garage, if you open up the side door and look at the, the bottom jam, mm -hmm. it feels mm -hmm. like it's just always there. Always what do you think? There. Even on the uh, bottom of doors, uh, bottom of doors, you can go into any front door, back door, or even in the garage, you can find that rot right at the bottom. Um, that's one thing, you know, we always check is the trims because a lot of places, you know, termites, so we always say if you don't got, termites in Florida, you may get them one day because they coming, you know, so it's always good yeah. to be ready for uh, termites. And I know even now, new constructions, they try to even build the the base inside of the walls. Yeah. So, you know, they're making that a requirement. Now, you don't have to activate it, but they at least have to have it. So here's here's another thing when I find, you know, when I go to a house, people don't realize how important you know, elevation is, you know, and how how it's graded. So is 
is the backyard flat? Is it is it yes. you know is it graded so when there's a storm, all the water runs towards the house? That's a big thing. It's a real big thing, real big thing. I know we was doing one, um, and uh, we could see water on a new construction already in the uh, backyard. You know, we know once they put the grass on top and the elevation is going down towards the house, like you were saying, it's going to be a muddy puddle, <laughs> puddle back there. You're walking in in your backyard, so. Definitely got to be careful with that. What's another big thing that you see when you're common things you see when you're doing a uh, home inspection? Uh, common thing is the lack, lack of insulation in the attic. Um, a lot of them I do just recommend, hey, add insulation or uh, recommend adding more insulation because it keeps your house cool. Yeah, because the older homes, you know, they hardly, they have like four inches, five inches. And a lot of the insulation is blown, when they put insulation in, they blow it in on top of the soffits so the, it's suffocating up in the attic. <laughs> yes, yes. I hate walking around uh, during insulation, but you know it's good for the client and it's good to have. So definitely that's a, a major comment on old homes. And here's, an, here's another thing that, you know, on older homes too, um, when we go up in attics is like rodent. Yes. Okay, so like the air conditioner, you know, piping that goes up into mm -hmm. the attic, you know, mm -hmm. rodents love going up into the attics and doing their business up there. Yeah, and it see stinks. A lot of rodent rodent droppings. <laughs> yeah, you see a lot of rodent droppings. So mm -hmm. that's, a, that's a concern. Yes, yes. And the other concern is, you know, like how many panels have you opened up and you know, you'll see a double tap. Why don't you explain what a double tap is? Uh, yeah, and you got to explain it each time. Um, definitely, I, uh, I, it's not a major fix, but definitely it's something that's not, you can't have it. You can't have yeah, it. Yeah, insurance companies don't like it. That means when there's two wires into one breaker. Yes, two wires into one breaker. I always tell people the person uh, fix it, they'll probably drive there longer than it takes them to fix it. <laughs> yeah, it's but just, you can't have it. But yeah. people do it because it's just they want to add an outlet, they want to add something, and they're too lazy, or they don't have enough space in the, mm -hmm. in the panel or, to add another breaker. So they're just you know they're just doubling it up. Yeah, or they add in a generator. Yeah, or, or add in a pool. Another thing in a pool, uh, uh, what people don't know as well that could be a failure is that your your pool don't have a GFCI. Yeah, I see that all the time. All the time, all the time. I uh, so that's another thing. When you have a pool that's fresh out there, you either have to have the G the GFI at the panel or at the pool equipment. So that's can be avoided. You know, if if they put that in right away, you know, not having a GFI. Oh, oh, ab absolutely. Mm -hmm. The the other thing too on a lot of homes around here is just the windows. You know, some of the windows are really difficult. They're old. They're drafty. Yes. It's just. <laughs> and we get some wind here in Florida, <laughs> so you know it can definitely. And then also it can help on your electricity bill. Yeah. Uh, having uh, you know good windows, uh, making sure they're sealed properly. You could open a window and see a lot of cracks around the seal, and you'd be like, man, I could see a, almost a gap or see outside, you know, and that can cause for bug, bug intrusion, you know, and get some unwanted guest. Oh, yeah. yeah, yeah. Now, another big thing, too, especially here in Florida, is the insurance companies don't like it, is polybutylene plumbing. And what that is, is gray piping yeah. as like a gold ring. They don't use it anymore, but they, they used it in. You know, what, 80s? 70s. 70s and yeah. 80s. Yeah. It was, it, it was yeah. disclaimed in the 70s. Um, uh, they, they still have it in some homes. Yeah, and so, you know, if you're buying a house, you want to just take a look at the color of the plumbing and see if there's, like, gold rings because they have a habit of leaking. Yes, yes. And then what they, uh, what happens is, you know, some insurance might take it, but they're... They're going to charge you. Oh, uh, char charge your arm and a leg to even keep you, you know, keep you on. So it's, you know, uh, but the amount of money you could save by having that replaced before you move in or, you know, you know, it can definitely. Now, would that be a deal, if you were buying the house, would that be a deal killer for you? Yes. Okay, yes, it, it would be a deal killer yeah, for me. Because too. if something goes wrong with it, yeah, and now I have to replace it, now that's all on you, because, you know, now that's your home. All right, let me ask you this question. Would this be a deal killer? Mm -hmm. And obviously we don't, we tell the clients if we see it, but we don't tell them what to do. Right. Um, that's not our job. But 
aluminum wiring, solid. I'm not talking about the multi-strand aluminum. Single strand, right? Single strand, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so basically, a lot of insurance companies don't like that. No, no. A lot of insurance companies don't, don't like it. They won't insure it. Or like you said, they'll charge your arm and a leg. Could that be a deal killer? I'm asking you, would you, would you even though, say they correct it and they put the, you know, the connectors and the malapines, whatever, you know, yeah. say they did all that on every outlet, would you, you, you still know you have aluminum wiring inside the mm -hmm. walls. Would you still buy that house? Not knowing because, you know, it's a lot of houses out here on the market. So I wouldn't, not knowing because just like I said with the poly, once, if something goes wrong, an electrician or somebody has to come over there and, 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 and fix it sometimes or to replace it to be to be, to be exact it can be a it could be a pretty penny so just to be careful of those things you know and know what you're getting into before you buy so joe tell tell me some stuff that you're shopping for a house mm -hmm. you know and what are going to be and i'll name some stuff that i would look for what what would you look for in a house what, what's your thing uh, definitely you want to look for space. Um, I love an open area where you don't have to use the lights a lot. So that's just a personal thing. Some houses are really dark and They're gloomy. They're really dark, really gloomy. You low know, ceilings. Low ceilings. So that's, that could be a deal killer for me. But, um, but also just um, older, older um, getting, getting the inspection is, is, is most important. But older it's huge. things is huge. But you want to make sure if you're buying a house that somebody lived in, just how did that last person treat that home? You know, uh, you know, did they put holes in the walls? There are a lot of patching, a lot of things, you know, things like that. It's that like uh, it's like how they how did they enjoy take care of their car? Yeah. You know, when they trade yeah. it in, did they change the oil every so many did miles? They change the oil? Or it could be something where they used it as a vacation home and they haven't lived. Nothing's been used on there in a while. Yeah, you know, so that that can be. The so basically, he, here's some things when I look for a house. One is obviously I want a lot a little bigger. That's not, you know, f ten feet or eight feet between the houses. Yeah. I would buy, if I was buying it, I would want a block home. Yes. I would want a hip roof. Oh yes, yes. <laughs> you know, well, basically a hip roof is like it's like a pyramid shape. At least 90% hip. 90%. So, you know, I would want that. I would want, to, you know, I would want a house, preferably if, here in Florida, if it was permanent after March 1st, 2003. Mm -hmm. Because that's the a newer building code because you get cheaper insurance. Yes. You know, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with houses built in the 90s or 80s, but, you know, you would have straps, you would have clips have and all, all that the, stuff, you know? Date. And then you got to look at it too, just like the older the home get, the more, just like a car, the, the more you drive it, the more it de depreciates. So mm -hmm. the older the home, the more it depreciates. So definitely having that year built 2000, 2003. Yeah, my, my house is 2004 mm -hmm. and I swear after 20 years, it, everything broke. Yeah. <laughs> That's as soon as it hit that mark. <laughs> it hit that mark, everything. Yeah. It's just like, I feel like I'm putting, like I'm changing windows, yeah. and, you know. Yeah. You actually came and did the uh, inspection for yes, that. I did. Yes, I did. And um, so that's how we met. Mm -hmm. um, but w what are the things you, you would look for? Um, you know, that depends on, a, a lot depends on your family and what you, you know, like if you got kids, you don't have kids, um, dogs, you know, the <laughs> Traffic, if you're traffic, out. yeah. If you work, if you work out, work, work somewhere at home or work away. So a lot depends on that, but definitely something as uh, you know, uh, new appliances. You know, the appliances up to date. You don't want to get in and now you're putting a lot of money on appliances, and then something goes wrong with. So it's it's common when you're going into homes, the appliances aren't that the great. The appliance is not that great, or maybe the microwave's not working. You know, I guess so we got you know things like that, and now you got to put money towards that and you know you might want to put money towards decorating or something like that so he, he, here's one that people didn't even realize it mm. okay a home redone I just did it yesterday redone beautiful home mm. and they they put a like a beautiful kitchen and like I'm talking about almost a chef's kitchen mm -hmm. and they have a center burner and stuff mm. and this person's a cook and that's why they wanted to go there. they cook spaghetti pastas yes. all that stuff 
So I walked in, I did the inspection. There wasn't much wrong with the inspection, but I'm like, you know that this doesn't have a vent. <laughs> You're gonna be cooking all this stuff and it's, it's just, it's gonna be hitting the ceiling. There is no vent, no it's in the center aisle. Yeah. And they're like, oh, I didn't even think of it. Yeah. <laughs> right there, yes. they have a big issue with it because they were sold on the kitchen. Mm -hmm. And then how do you put the vent in? Before they moved the, you know, they moved the stove from against the wall so they could vent it outside to, you know, pretty much the center, mm -hmm. the center aisle. Yes, yes. And it was, it's a big issue for them. That's why it's important to have a home inspector. Yeah, and I definitely seen some, a lot of cases where it's venting in the attic and not going outside the home. Oh, all the time I see that. All the time. So that's a, another common issue that I see you. So you know, a lot of people don't go in the attic. Or, you know, at all. So they wouldn't know. They wouldn't know until. Oh, yeah, it's too especially late. if you're buying like a flipper house. Mm -hmm. The flipper house are notorious. You know, people that just buy houses to flip. Yep. I, we just did a video on that. Check that one out. But they go into a house and they put all their energy into paint, staging furniture, doing the kitchens and doing the bathrooms. And then when I walk into a house, I look past all that stuff. Yeah, yeah. I, I don't, I don't even. It looks anything. pretty. It looks pretty, <laughs> yeah, but it, it means pretty. nothing. <laughs> I'm heading right up to the attic, you know. See, see what's the real deal with this house? Yeah, the wiring, the, the the plumbing, <laughs> you know, the roof. Yeah. You know, is it shingles I've seen or shingles? A lot of homes, man. You know, they take great pictures online. Oh yeah, oh, they, they have man. professionals. Yeah. We can make yeah. anything yeah, look yeah. good. <laughs> they take great pictures online. You'd be like. Oh, this home inspection is going to be a breeze. And you get there and you're like, yeah, it's the real deal. You know, there. I knew, I always knew when, when I walk into a home inspections and uh, if the listing agent is there and they tell me, you're not going to find anything wrong with this house. <laughs> I was like, don't say that. Yeah, let me just. Because then that's when I, you know. But you know what I tell people on even on brand new builds, you're going to find. Even on oh, pre-draw wall. We've, on, we found know. stuff in this home. Yeah, so it's, <laughs> it's, it's always something. It's a work in progress. <laughs> you know? it's, it's definitely it definitely a work in progress. But here's another one that I found that mm -hmm. people didn't think about. Okay, so two bathrooms, mm -hmm. kitchen, and, you know, a newer water heater. But they put the bathroom in. It literally took over five minutes for hot water to reach the master bathroom. Wow. Five, I timed it, five minutes. And I said, yeah, it's always been like that. So to the sellers, it's no big deal. Right. But to the buyers, it's a big deal. It's like, I want to wash my hands or I want to. I don't want to waste five minutes of water. To just, to just wash my hands in hot water. <laughs> yeah. Or take a shower in hot water. That's crazy. And the other thing is too is, mm -hmm. One one of the houses we run we run the water in the sinks for like five minutes and Same. people and, and people say why do you do that so Same. you know we want to see if there's any backups yeah yeah put much pressure on them on them pipes and the possible. air conditioner we put a lot of pressure on the air conditioner mm -hmm. too to to mm -hmm. do it but on older homes I strongly recommend doing sewer scopes yes. even on new constructions I'll give you an example of a new construction not this one but a different one. The cement truck was backing up. I'm like, hey, you know what? They didn't pave it yet. I know that's where the, you know, the sewer lines are going to be. And I kind of saw it sink in a little bit. And I'm like, I'm talking to somebody I work with. And I said, let's do a sewer, a, you know, mm -hmm. sewer line inspection. We put the sewer camera down there. Sure enough, it was collapsed. Wow. Now, if we didn't do that, what would have happened would be that it would have just, they would have cemented over it. You know, even if you ran the water, it probably still drain. Yeah, it drain for a while. For a while. Yeah. But then when you're in the house for a while, more people move in and they're flushing things down. That's you're it. gonna have a problem. You're like, oh, it's collapsed underneath the driveway. Yep. Yep. That's exactly. So it's great to do sewer scopes. Great to do a sewer scope. So I'll definitely recommend them. I know. I know we're home inspectors, and you know this is what you expect us to say to do a home inspection. But yeah. listen. I'm a home inspector, but he came in and did what's called the wind mitigation on my house for a program, mm -hmm. because obviously I could do my own, but you know, yeah. it'll be a little bit of a conflict of interest. <laughs> a little bit. <laughs> um, so it's really, really important to, it's worth every penny. That's what I'm just saying. It's just, it's worth every penny when you're doing a home inspection. Yeah. Do you have anything else to add? Yeah, I had a friend who had a, one more thing. I had a friend who didn't do a home inspection. Okay. And he regretted it. He regretted that they moved in, you know. Um, so it's good to know to not know. <laughs> good yeah. to be prepared. 
Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. So I appreciate you guys. Catch me and Bill on the next one. Do me a favor. Subscribe, like, share. It's greatly appreciated. It really helps out the channel. It really motivates us. Thank you, and we'll speak to you on the next one.